guys, CJ here with another video for HSTV. So today I've got a bit of a reveal for you guys. Uh, last week I picked up my brand new Hobie Compass from HWS. Yes, HWS, make sure we get that right. Hunter Water Sports up there near Newcastle. So that's, that's the old girl over there. She's a bit of a beauty. I've held off for a couple of weeks on making the review only because I just wanted to get the feel of it a little bit. I've come from a normal paddle kayak, so to the pedal kayak was a bit of a, a bit of a change. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of pros and cons we can talk through, but we might leave the uh, cons out and just bring all the pros in, eh? So, obviously being in a paddle kayak the last two years, I've come up against some crazy weather, you name it, wet wind, rain, currents, tides, all of it. You know, you go out for four or five hours and on the way back in, you're just fighting complete crazy currents and, you know, 65 kilometer winds once, me and a mate of mine, Jake, who you'll meet in some future videos. <laughs> we had some we had some fun times trying to get back. So, I went out and purchased myself, purchased myself a new Hobie Compass and, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm down here at Brighton today. The water's absolutely beautiful. Very, very flat. Actually, funny story, I actually tipped my kayak the first week I got it. This uh, this brand new Hobie snapped a rod while I was at it. Just stay out there. There's, there's a little bit of a bommy going on just there. Today is very calm. But on a bit of a faster current day, the jet skis come along and make, jump the waves. I thought, here I am in a Hobie Compass. No one's going to be able to tip me. I was wrong about that, but um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I'll get out there and show you guys you know, how it turns, this handles. And on this kind of a day, which is perfect, I could go from here, I can go from Brighton Beach here all the way to La Perouse, really, if I wanted to. But, um, we'll see how we go. Sure. Thanks again to HWS at Hunter Water Sports. 
they help me install everything from you know, the rectangle hatch here in between my legs, all the wiring for the sonar. Uh, yeah, from here, uh, you can't see it from here, it's got some stuff over it, but a back um, trolling attachment, but I've just got that for my flag and light for any nighttime stuff. But it is absolutely beautiful out here today. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the water is just crystal clear. See the bottom. If there was a flathead laying down there, I'd see him. Here's that swell that uh, picked me up and threw me up on my head last last week. There you go. We just went over it. A bit of a bomby out here or something. They're moving a lot of sand around. So, but yeah, move a lot of sand around and it just creates these little jumps for the jet skis. Not that they're doing it on purpose, but um, I thought I'd be a hero and try and ride the waves. Uh, last week, I learned my lesson there. Snapped the rod. All good, we're back, we're back in this. But um that you know the pedal system in these things really a tough thing. What are you gonna do? Buy something cheap, I won't even mention the company's names because they don't really deserve it. We'll buy something cheap online and it lasts you a couple of weeks before it breaks. What's the point of that? Spend an extra spend that little extra bit laughing soon in one of these things with warranty they look after you as well all the parts and that you know I just picked up that ram rod holder there because I was a rod holder down and didn't really enjoy that too much let's uh, move the little move the little WTF stick before we do lose it yeah. like it is an awesome kayak I'm just going to try and stand up out here maybe I'm a little bit too early for that actually, I'm not really out of the swell yet. <laughs> Let's get out of here first. But all in all, the Hobie Compass, it's a great kayak. I just installed all the deck padding and stuff like that myself last night because I didn't have it in stock when I picked the kayak up. But it wasn't too bad, I just heated it up with a blow dryer. Just put it on really high setting and warmed up the glue and stuck it all over. So. Chinese stuff you get online and you know out of the three it's worth spending that little bit of extra money unless you're a beginner if you're a beginner then I recommend just spending money on a cheap kayak getting out on the water learning how to be on the water learning the rules because don't forget you're sharing that water with you know boats boats and all sorts of stuff like that jet skis other fishermen so yeah, just don't, don't rush into it guys, but at the same time, they're worth every cent. Um, stability on them is just, you know, like I told you earlier, I tipped it, but I was trying to ride like, you know, four or five foot waves with it, thinking that I would be, you know, un untippable. Um, 
yeah, so I thought I'd just put this little video together for you guys and see what you think. All the accessories, you know, I've got the hookless map pockets on either side. Sounder, rod holder, the big ram mount. I don't know if I'll get a H crate just yet. I might just try and make one out of a milk crate to put my live bucket in, my live bait bucket in. I don't really need the whole H crate thing right now. Yeah, I'm just cruising as you can see. Almost at the bridge. That's the old St George Sailing Club. That's been completely torn down now. They're about to spend $13 million on a new one. So that'll be nice to see if we can get out on that jetty at night. <laughs> see if we can do a bit of a fish. But yeah, so I just want to do a review for you guys today on the compass. So I think we got through all the things I really wanted to talk about anyway. Um, my other boat, my other kayak was just a bathtub. You know, every time you go out, wet pants, all the rest of it, it's not fun. You know, you do five, six hours and then come back home wet. It's not fun. So, you know, I've got the raised seat now and raised seat, extended hatch, MD180 drive, so I also have the reverse, reverse and forward, so that that's a great benefit for times like this where I'm about to go and fish the pylons and I want to kind of stay with the pylons, I really can. It really changes the game for me. I'm used to just going out and doing like a, you know, 10, 20 minute drift and then rowing back to where I started and going again. But I'm just got to get used to fishing in the Hobie now because there's no need for that. I can stay and chill out wherever I want to. Um, yeah, like I said, this was just a review today, guys. It wasn't really a fishing video, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's like out here and how easily around on it. Hopefully I'll get into those Hobie uh, competitions soon and see you guys there. <laughs> see how we go anyway. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is just my Hobie review. So hope you guys enjoy and I hope I help show you a few things that maybe if you go pick a Hobie for yourself that I helped you out on your decision making. So don't forget that I got mine from HWS, Hunter Water Sports, just out there in um, Newcastle. Uh, great guys, they helped me with all the customizations that I wanted to do. And yeah, it was just quick, easy business. They also do a finance deal there, so you can pay $1,000 and pay the rest off. I think it's about $35 a week. So really, you know, if you can't afford the whole, the whole bunch, you can get it financed if you have to. So yeah, shout out to them boys there. And yeah, I'll do a bit of a, walk home, get it home for you guys. Um, yeah, chill. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more content. Don't forget over the next couple weeks I will be rowing this thing from Brighton Beach to La Perouse, pedaling this thing. So that'll be a mission and I hope I see you guys then. Take care. Alright, I've got him. I've got him here. What do you reckon? Gassing him. Gassing him on the Hobie. I don't care that he's 10. I'm using straight leg power. What's going on, bro? Getting smoked. No! Hey, this thing moves, bro. This thing moves. Look, I'm gaining on him. Straight leg power, baby. Straight leg power. Gassing you as well, mate. Oh, pop them legs. Gassed. There you go, guys. The Hobie easily keeps up with children on sailboats. I was just saying to the camera, I'm surprised I can keep up with you guys. You think you should be able to beat me easily? Yeah, it's true too. If it picked up a little bit, eh? 
Uh, good luck guys, take care. That's me. Woo! Gassed them. That's the end of the video guys. Hope you enjoyed my little review. Just wanted to show you guys what these Hobies are made of, you know? I'm gonna do a bit of a beach here. Just line it up there on the sand. Get these pedal drives out. Always check what meter you're at too. So I'm sitting at 1.8. <laughs> I reckon there's some fish underneath me just here. So whenever you get into those shallow waters, you really want to be taking your paddle off, pedals out, so you can land and rudder up. So your rudder system is quite easy. Just from here, up, lock it in. Pull this bad boy out, just like that. And lay it down. Give you guys a bit of a look at how I do it. Alright guys, so there's my review on my brand new Hobie Compass. I wanted to wait a week or two before when I got it, before I started making this review so you guys I can really give you a good feel of it and uh, how I feel of it but uh, all in all I do love this kayak it's worth every cent you know I just done like 3k's roughly 3k's you know started around the corner there we went all the way around here and then all the way around down there to Tarrant Point Bridge and back and then I came in, just an easy little spot here to come in and out. Little kayak ramp, I guess you would call it. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Back next week with maybe a uh, kayak fishing video. <laughs> <laughs>